Hi. This is the fourth and last part of a four-part tutorial about how to put images into frames. In the previous parts, we were looking at frames that were flat images that didn't have any layers. If you have a layered image that was built to be a frame, the whole process is much, much easier. Let's take a look at one. This is a hexagonal frame with a six-pointed star where the image goes. Notice that the picture has its own layer here in the layer stack with a bevel above that. The bevel works because its fill has been set to zero percent which means that all you'll ever see of it is the bevel and emboss style down here. You will never see this teal color because it's just not there. To use a frame like this, all you have to do is select the picture layer and then get the image that you want to use in the frame. In this case, I'm going to use a picture of Lily, who's a corgi belonging to my friend Laura's brother, Stephen. Laura took this shot and told me I could use it for the tutorial. So all you have to do is drag Lily into the frame. If you want her to be centered, you can hold down the shift key, but I don't care, so I'm not going to. And there she is. Now all you have to do is hold down the option key, that's Alt on the PC, and hover over the line between the two layers. And when you do that, the cursor will change into these two interlocking circles. Then just click, and you have clipped the image to the picture layer, which means that you'll only see the image where the picture layer has active pixels. Then all you have to do is get the Move tool, V, which we already have, and just drag the image into place and you're done. It doesn't get much easier than that. Let's look at another one. This time we have a frame that's crooked but otherwise is pretty much a rectangle. Because we have a little time I'm going to show you a really slick way to get your image in there as straight as it was when you took it. So we'll go over here to the image and first if you're using CS2 or better select your picture, go to the layer panel and choose convert to smart object. That'll set your image up so you can swap the pictures in the frame really easily. Next, we need to have a snapshot of the frame, so I'm going to select that image again. Then hit Command A, that's Control A on a PC to select all, and go up to Edit, Copy Merged. Go back to the image and just paste it in there with Command V, Control V on a PC. Now we need to get the ruler tool. It's grouped with the eyedropper and is probably hidden under it, so just click on the eyedropper, wait till it springs out, and choose the ruler tool. Then all you have to do is click at one edge of the top or bottom and drag to the other corner and let go. And now we can hide this image because we don't really need it anymore and go up to image, image rotation, arbitrary. Now this is designed to straighten the image as you might have seen in one of the earlier tutorials that I did. In this case we don't want to do that. We want to match the straight image to the rotation. So whichever radio button is filled here, click the other one and then click OK and your image will rotate. Now get the Move tool again, that's V. Click on the picture to select it. Then this time I am going to hold down Shift and just drag it over the frame and as soon as we do we'll notice that it is already rotated so that it matches perfectly. So just tap Command D to drop the selection, that's Control D on a PC. Hold down the Option key, that's Alt on the PC and clip the layer again and then just arrange it so it fits neatly in the frame and there you go. Now this is a layered image with editable type layers so if we tap T we can click up here triple click to select all of it and we'll just put Lily's name in there so that we know who this is. It's just that simple. Now the reason that we use a smart object was because now we can swap the pictures really easily. If you double click on the smart object you will open up the PSB file that is associated with that smart object. That's the Photoshop large document format. I tend to think of it as Photoshop big. I'm going to drag it over here to the side so we can see what's going on more easily. And let's get this picture of Purr and tap V to get the move tool again. And this time I'm going to hold down shift again and just drag her over there. And now watch what happens when I save the image. That's Command S, Control S on a PC and it puts Purr in the frame instead and I don't have to rotate her or move her or anything, she's just there. Of course I really should change the name up here because that's not Lily anymore. But that's all it takes to change the picture. Smart objects can be used with any of the other frame types we've discussed too, of course, so once you've done the work to put an image in a frame, reusing that particular frame is the proverbial piece of cake. And that's all there is to this. This has been Robin Wood, and I hope you found this helpful.